Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're playing a game on Steam. It's called Chorus. This is a free demo. I'm playing the game in Vorpex. Basically, Vorpex is a 3D injector. It turns flat games into 3D games that you can play in VR. Today I'm playing on the Quest 2. I tried the game last night. I got it working on the Rift S. I made a profile for the game. I'm currently recording what I can see in my Quest 2. I'm going to record my desktop and I'm going to try to get this up and running. The first thing you need to do, you need to download the demo from the Steam store. The full game is £34, so bear that in mind. Once you've downloaded the demo, you need to run the game at least once. So click on play. We need to go into the settings menu. We need to change some settings for this to work in Warpex. Go into settings, make sure display is on window mode, VSync is off, max FPS I put that on to unlimited, visuals for the purpose of this video I've turned everything to low and then you just need to um, close the game and now we're going to boot up Warpex. So quit the game. If you run Vorpex, you can find my profile. Go to the cloud profile. Type in the name of the game, Chorus. Here's my profile, the bottom one. There's some instructions on the uh, right. Import my profile. Click on apply. Now we need to run Steam. And we're going to boot up Steam VR. Now we're going to boot up the game and it should work in Vorpex. Click on play. Click on OK. If you see the Vorpex logo, you know it's working. There we go. I can see the Vorpex logo. My instructions in the top left. You can play the game with a mouse and keyboard. Today I'm playing with the Xbox controller. I've made my profile to work with the controller. I'm recording my desktop. I'm recording my Quest 2 footage. I'm going to start a new game. I'm going to show you what I can see in the Quest 2. We're playing the game in immersive screen mode. Basically it's a giant 3D cinema. I've curved the screen a little bit so the screen curves around your face. There's no geometry 3D. We're playing the game in Z3D but the 3D looks really really nice with your spaceship up close. Okay, so let's start a new game. We're going to go through the intro. This is Chorus. Experience fast-paced space combat across mind-bending astral planes in an epic story to overthrow the biggest threat the galaxy has seen. You play as Nara, the former right hand of the Great Prophet and commander of otherworldly power amongst the Circle, who rule over the galaxy with an iron fist. After the destruction of Namika Prime and crippled by guilt, Nara abandoned the evil cult, burying everything dear to her. When the Circle returns, there is nowhere left to hide. It is time to face the demons of the past. But you won't be able to do this alone. Every pilot needs a ship. I will fight beside you. Forsaken is a sentient ship and Nara's oldest ally. The two share a deep bond and together we're an unstoppable force. Now, Nara must reclaim her lost powers, be one with Forsaken, and defeat the evil tyranny of the Circle before the galaxy is lost forever. With every battle, your power will grow, unifying you both as the ultimate force in the galaxy. Okay, so I'm going to skip the initial tutorial. When you first boot up the game, there's no 3D. The 3D kicks in once you start the game for real. So I'm going to skip all this. This is civilian vessel Salu, broadcasting on all emergency frequencies. 
Cleansing doctrine. Our engines are down. Somebody help us. Hold on, Salu. Evade, evade. Please, please, our families. Forza, target ahead. Engaged. Direct hit. The reactor is unstable. Too late. No life signs detected. The circle is hailing us. Let them through. Venerated Elder, we are honored by your presence. All embrace the great prophet. Be in chorus. Be in hell. Okay, guys, this is the start of the game, and the 3D really, really pops out now. This is not Geometry 3D, which is the best way to play these games, but the uh, 3D at the moment is really, really good. I'm going to show you what I can see on the Quest 2. Okay, so this is what I can see on the Quest 2, look. You can see the edge of the screen, and this screen is slightly curved around me. Now, playing the game, it's like, a, it's like playing the game on a giant 3D cinema. I can control my ship with the um, Xbox controller, look. And I've made this profile to work. With the Xbox controller, I can boost forwards. Now we need to attack this ship here. We need to um, dodge its attack. Evade just before we get hit. Evasion maneuver successful. Well, the uh, graphics look amazing. This looks really, really cool. I'm going to recall my desktop so that you get a really nice uh, image to watch. At the moment, I've connected my Quest 2 to my PC via Airlink. So the game is running on my PC, it's running on Steam, and I'm playing it in 3D on the Quest 2. Mission failed, we're going to restart. Okay, so we're in the game. And the 3D here really pops out. Okay, we need to dodge incoming fire. And this is the uh, tutorial. Evasion maneuver successful. Evade. Now, there's a really good reason why I'm featuring this game and this demo today. The developer has been talking about adding VR support to the game. So, show the developer some support, go to the Steam forums, tell him you want to see VR for the game. Okay, we've dodged. Need to destroy this. Combat feels amazing, it really does. And these vistas are stunning. Okay, so our shields up. We can change our weapon loadout. Focus. Got some rockets now, I think. Got him. He's down. Path clear. For now, their operation isn't over. There are more Investigate the asteroid signals, field. But I cannot define their exact positions. I can sense and track their life forces. Their energies echo fear, agony, despair. Okay, we need to investigate the asteroid field. Speed up. The 
are hiding among the asteroids. I'm picking up three signatures. No circle reinforcements yet, but they can't be far away. Press A to sense trails. Okay, this is a trail. Do we need to follow this? The ship shows lethal radiation levels. No survivors. This is where all the Prophet's glorious ideals led. They were once your ideals too. I was so blind. This game feels super nice to play as well. And like I said, the 3D effect is amazing. I know it's not full screen, it's not full VR. I'm quite happy to play games like this. I'm 100% immersed in the game now. This demo is so good, I might just buy the game. There are life signs on board. Civilian ship. Head for this rendezvous point. I'll lead you to safety. What? Why aren't you ending us right now, cultist? We're not the cult. Your choice. Flee or stay and die. Nara out. Okay, we need to guide the ship. Say to hail the refugee ship. This is the Itani. We surrender, cult ship. Hold your fire. Itani, travel to these coordinates. Then we'll head home. But if you're. Decide for yourself. Nara out. To say this game's running on the lowest settings, this looks amazing. It really does. Okay, there's a refugee ship over here. Get some speed. Pirate vessel will never let you on board. You ain't listening. We could help each other get out. Pirate vessel, state your intent. Some of us are engineers. We could help shield their ship and everyone gets out alive. Shall we kill it or spare it? Let's spare it. Engineers? Then let's make this work. You won't regret it. Rendezvous with the other ships at these coordinates. But they're We're all in this together now. Aye. All right. Probably yeah, this looks amazing. You can probably tell from the uh, gameplay there are two more how amazing this looks. Where, we hunt cultists. where people are hiding, waiting for help. Okay, let's go over here towards the outpost. Okay, there's a, a ship here. Is that a bad guy? Mayday. Okay, it looks like it's inside the asteroid. Okay, we're being attacked. Take out these pirates. Change my weapon. Combat feels amazing, it really does. And there's haptic feedback in the uh, Xbox controller, really adding to the immersion. Take out these old ships. These guys are tough. Ooh, I hit the rock. 
and this is running super smooth. Okay, we saved him. You're clear. Converge with the other ships. No idea why you're helping us, cold ship. Thanks. You're welcome. For them, we'll so to my bottom left are my weapons, look. Different loadouts. We still have one location to search. The refugees depend on us. We have like a laser. My main weapons, which is the uh, like a machine gun. Rockets. And I believe if I hold down, that's repair. Okay, let's head over here. Now this is a third person game. There's no cockpit mode. I'm sure if the developer does add VR support, he will give us a cockpit mode because this is amazing. This looks stunning, it really does. Use the B button to leap onto Focus enemy on targets. Voice. I'll destroy them. They're inside. Right. I'll leap in. Reinforcements. Oh, that was cool. So I did like a, a warp jump there. We need to avoid the attacks. Fire the rockets. Let me change my weapons again. Boost away. Not now. Repair the ship. If I see a bad guy, press the B button. I warp into the enemy's look. No. Take out the guns. There we go. Got behind him. Shields up. And this game feels super responsive. Got him. I'm dead. He got me. So I'm going to restart from the last checkpoint. Reinforcements. So this ship is vulnerable against the um, Gatling guns. I actually teleported inside the ship. That was awesome. Take him out. On the quest 2 this looks super sharp, super clear. This looks as good as what you can see on the screen right now. And I'm recording my desktop. I'm recording natively from my PC. Let's get behind this guy. Take him out. Okay, he's got a shield. Repair, repair. Okay, let's try the laser. Not now. 
Where's he gone? No. He's on fire. Got him. Repair. Okay, let me try the uh, rockets. No. Got him. Rockets away, okay. So let me get the uh, Gatling gun again. Okay, one more somewhere. I'm going to hit the B button. Repair my ship. Okay, hit the B button. Get behind him. He's down. One left. Nice. Destroy the psychic totems. There's one more totem left somewhere inside a ship. I'm being attacked. Okay, I think we need to go inside the ship here. Look. The uh, sense of speed is amazing. It really is. Look at this view here. Look at this. Can't beat that view. Stunning. Okay, where's that ship? Mind the rock. Okay, let me turn around. We need to find one more totem. Is it in here? Okay, must be the other ship. Must be this one here. Okay, we need to get through the other side, I think. These vistas are stunning. Okay, nice and easy. If I hold down the top shoulder pad, I get like a, a morph effect like that. I don't know what's happening there. Okay, I'm trying to get inside the ship here. Are we clear to go inside now? Okay, we're inside. We did it. Mission complete. Okay. New coordinates over here. Okay, we're going towards the refugee convoy. Nice. No. 
the ship made it. Finally. We're ready. Good. Then burn for the jump gate. Stay in a tight formation and traverse fire. I'll handle anyone getting too close to you. We have a convoy. They'll back us up with shields. Copy. Everybody, time to move out. Cult forces incoming. Copy. Defend the convoy. The into our turret grid. But we're dead if those vultures. We'll target them first. One down. He's down. Ooh, that was close. He's on fire. He's down. Too close. Okay, rockets. We got shields up. Tries to get behind him. Okay, avoid the fire. I got killed again. You have died. As you can see, not an easy game. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. This demo is free to try. Let the developer know you want proper VR support for the game. This is amazing. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Everybody, time to move out.